Hey everyone, Chip and Biscuits mom here. And today I'm gonna to be unboxing the Athletic Cat Cat Wheel. Okay, I am super excited to be able to unbox and review this. So this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step unboxing and showing off how to use this specific cat wheel. Now, one of the main reasons why I was interested in this specific cat wheel is because it is a lot bigger in diameter than the other cat wheel that I've tried. And they are also launching in the US right now. And so a lot of Chips' American friends can get one of these cat wheels for themselves. And so so far I've actually really liked it so I hope you enjoy this entire tutorial of how to unbox it so let's look at all the different components that you're going to get in your athletic cat cat box now everything was really wrapped up very well and you also get this cute little wand to help train your cat on the cat wheel because let's be honest it's a whole new concept for the cats to get on a cat wheel, but once you get them trained, it is so adorable. It really is so, so cute. But nevertheless, you get lots of hardware because even though a lot of this cat wheel is already put together to save you a lot of time, you actually have to spend about an hour or so to put it all together. So as I was unboxing this, Chip decided to hang out and make it just a little bit more difficult, of course, because, you know, why not? But once all the pieces were taken out, then it was time to actually unwrap all of the individual pieces. And thankfully, I'm really impressed that everything was boxed and packaged very well. So I did not have to find any scratches or mistakes or missing screws or any issues with any of the pieces, which tends to happen with some things nowadays. But nevertheless, I also really appreciated how the instructions were practically two pages long which sometimes when instructions are like 10 pages long it gets super stressful for me i will say that as i was going along chip did decide to hang out inside of the athletic hat cat box and he also decided to subsequently chew up some of the box because if you've seen some of other some of chips's other videos you know that he loves to chew cardboard and if you're a cat owner then you know that the cardboard is usually the best part of any new thing that you buy and chip definitely showed that that is how he feels about this new purchase but nevertheless let's continue on with putting together the actual cat wheel so first you're going to put in these little wooden pieces into the holes and you'll see that in the up close here it's as simple as just literally sliding the pieces together and this just helps keep them aligned which is really helpful so you don't have to try to wiggle all the pieces together after that chip decided that it was time to get out of the box because he wanted to join all the fun construction that was happening next to him. But as you see on the instruction manual here, we're going to essentially put together the main pieces. Now, I did appreciate, again, that so many of this was already put together because on another cat wheel that I tried putting together earlier this year, this was, I, if I remember right, it was like a four hour ordeal trying to put every little piece together and it was, absolutely exhausting but with this all you really have to do is just put this little piece of metal down you have to remove the metal sticker first and then you put a screw in and the little screw cap and it was just great because Athletic Hat also included a full-size screwdriver which was really nice instead of me having to go hunt down a screwdriver of my own but nevertheless all you have to do is take this little sticker off of the piece of metal, put it down onto the screw section, and you put down the screw, put down the little screw cap on the bottom portion and screw it in. And after that, all you have to do is just finish the four little sections on each piece. I will say that this was very monotonous because you have to do this a ton of times. Rooms. but thankfully it actually was really really easy to do which was nice because a lot of these okay if you see a lot of these chip and biscuit unboxing and review videos I sometimes complain and when I say sometimes I always complain when I have to put in too much effort to think about what's being said on the instruction sheet or when it takes way too much effort for me to find the pieces and the screws and this and that. And so thankfully, although it was a little overwhelming at first to see so many screws and screw caps for this particular cat wheel, 
I actually was really easy to put together. So in the long run, you know, you put together one side and then you flip it over. So you're literally going to do it all over again on the other side to secure both sides of the cat wheel, of course. And you can see here the process all over again. It's kind of sped up a little bit just to show you, you take off the sticker, you put down the metal. The metal actually is not sticky. It, uh, the sticker just helps keep it shiny and makes it so there are no fingerprints or anything on the metal. Um, but then, you put the screw in, put the screw cap through the bottom, screw it into the cap, and repeat four times onto that piece. And to be honest, this did take me again about an hour, an hour and a half to do, but I did have a few other things going on. The cats kept jumping up on everything, and I had to start this from scratch. I also did not follow the first step, which was to watch the YouTube video because I was in a time crunch. But nevertheless, once the wheel itself was constructed, then it was time to put the base together. And this one just took a little bit of time to figure out, but honestly, again, it was really easy to understand. And again, if I don't have to grab my husband, then I'm happy when it comes to putting something together. Now all you have to do is stick these three parts into the long foldable piece. Do that twice, and then attach the other foldable piece onto there. This one does take the long screws compared to the screw, short screws like earlier. Now we'll get to the fun part and we're almost done. All you have to do is put the carpet or whatever you want to call this fabric and you put it on the cat wheel. Biscuit got really excited and wanted to join, but okay, this thing slides right on and it is literally ready to go from there. So Chip instantly came over to check it out, but he wasn't too sure. And again, if you've seen a lot of Chips' videos, he's not too sure about new things. And, but Biscuit's different. Biscuit's pretty wild and crazy and spontaneous. So she ran right on over and she wanted to try out. And Biscuit has used cat wheels before, a lot more than Chip. And so she already kind of knew how this worked and she really got right to it. I was super excited that she instantly started going for the first time ever. Biscuit actually ran on the wheel, as in she went more than walking, because I think her other cat wheel was just too small for her to be able to do that. But I did get a few clips of Biscuit doing a little bit of jogging and running on there, which was so fun to see. And so overall, I am really impressed with this product. The setup was easy. It really was not complicated at all. It did not take that long compared to other cat wheels I've experienced. So stay tuned for more Chip and Biscuit cat wheel videos because I'm gonna see if I can get them trained to do this by themselves. I just think it'll be so, so cute if Chip and Biscuit can do this because Okay, Biscuit does need a little bit of exercise. She's a chonky girl. She keeps gaining weight because she likes to eat too many treats. And so I think this will be really helpful for her and super cute to add to our kitty quarter playground. So you can check out the link to this athletic cat wheel down in the description and let's chat down in the comments. I will see you in the next review video.